welcome or welcome back to my channel you guys first of all i feel like we haven't started a vlog in the car in a very 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 long time so i feel like i'm getting back into my run errands with me error but we've been up since literally 4 a.m y'all because why is the air broken in our house so the kids woke up super just drenched in like they were wet and we thought like maybe Kay peed in the bed or something no it was sweat everybody in my house is like very hot natured and so we always keep our house at 68 at nighttime we got up at 4 a.m it was 82 degrees in our house i feel like i can't even breathe in there so it did cool down a little bit because we let the windows up and now it's still it's, all, it's, it's at 78 it's hot so the time is 8 39 you guys so i'm finna run to target because we don't have any toothpaste we have a little bit, but we're about to be out. We need lotion. Front office doesn't open until 9 o'clock, so they can't come do anything about my air until they officially open. So we're just going to go run some errands, you know? So thank you, Lord, for this day. As I get ready to leave, I pray that you keep me safe and protected, Lord. Let me make it to my destination safely and back home safely. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. So let's go ahead and get ready to head out because, girl... I am so freaking irritated. It's so hot in that house. I can't even think straight. So, yeah, who is this? Wants to be my friend. No, you don't want to be my friend on no Snapchat. Somebody named Jazz. I don't know no damn Jazz. <laughs> on this song, So Bad, Rich Baby Daddy by Drake, SZA, and Sexy Red. Y'all, I'm on it, like, real freaking bad. But, yeah, let's go ahead and go to the store. So, y'all, I posted a youtube shorts last night and i wanted to use the song rich baby daddy but not sexy red part like not the let your coochie breathe part baby i wanted to just use the um target not even open yet girl what they're not even open yet that's crazy i'm here before target open never before but i wanted to just use the drake part like or drake or scissor right so I thought I lined my song up like to start on the scissor part and finish out with the Drake part because the short was one minute long. Y'all, why I didn't put only sexy red part on there? And the comments were not it. Luckily, a lot of people hadn't seen it yet. So I just deleted it because the comments that I was getting was terrible. But it was like people was like i love the short but the music absolutely threw it off and stuff and i feel like what people like sometimes don't realize is that i'm 23 like this i i'm, I'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna lie i like like a good little ratchet boom boom bang song like so it, and i i noticed that i have like a lot of older people on my page or whatever so when i'm picking music i try to keep it you know nice and mellow but it's just a song like it's just a song stop acting like you've been holy moly guacamole your whole life you was young and turned at one point but anyways y'all i did not know that target doesn't open until like i'm guessing they open at nine because i'm here and people are standing in the front. They want to go in, but the doors are locked. So I'm going to look it up and see what time they open because it says open. I'm so confused. I, I don't know. Let's let's go up here and see. Okay, told y'all I had to come here for some toothpaste. Why was the toothpaste locked up? I had to get somebody to come unlock it. But I got my toothpaste and now I'm going to pick up my face wash and some lotion. So this is the one that I've been using, but I kind of wanted to try this one because I saw a lot of people talking about it, but also I'm kind of scared to switch up. So I think I'm gonna stick to the blue one. All right, y'all, so of course I had to check out the little boy clothes area because yesterday we went to Zara to get the boys some new clothes, but I did not find anything in Zara in both of their sizes. I can't get it for both boys not getting it for either so i looked in the little boy section here at target but i really don't like all the graphics anymore all the dinos and stuff i'm really just over that so i think i'm just gonna go go ahead order their stuff from zara because car goes back to school next week so he needs some new stuff he needs jackets and stuff because it's getting a little chilly so i need some 
saline for baby K because K knows keep being so crusty. I don't really know what's going on, but we're running out of space on this SD card. So let's go ahead, check out, and then I'm gonna get some Starbucks and I'll talk to y'all when I get in the car. It is so quiet in Target this early in the morning. I need to start doing my Target runs this early all the time because I'm loving the vibes. girl so we are out of target so i only spent 47 dollars that included my starbucks i got a new drink today something that i never tried so i'm gonna tell y'all how to order it because the girl said this is her like number one drink and she got it from pinterest and i was like did you have this picture and she was like oh my god yes i got that picture too so it's a i didn't get a venti i got a grande i got a grande caramel macchiato blonde extra camel drizzle and four pumps of white mocha and i added brown sugar into mine so let's try this out let's see mm. heavy on the camel drizzle that's all i just got mm. it's good but it's also a seven dollar iced coffee so i really don't see myself really getting this too much i'm a realist like i feel like i'm a realist i treat i can treat myself to starbucks about like two or three times a month so that's like what twenty dollars on coffee because my drink is usually like five six dollars but i don't see how people go to starbucks every day i can i'll wear that mcdonald's app out getting that free iced coffee off of there but Starbucks every day. Starbucks is a luxury. A luxury that I cannot afford every day. So, but we're going to have us some today. It's real good. Now, I'm going to go home and make me some breakfast because I'm starving. And I'm going to give y'all a little haul when I get to the house. I told y'all earlier that my ear was broken. That was like 8 o'clock this morning, y'all. Why is it 11.45 and nobody has called back, said anything, like said they coming or nothing. Mind you, my thermostat says it's 83 degrees in my house right now. Like, my kids walking around in no clothes because it's too hot in our house to put clothes on. Like, the hell? And then, let just no, no. The same way they want all that shit promptly, they want their payments promptly, like, the same way I want my maintenance request done promptly. Come fix the sh This place is so ghetto, y'all. First of all, I told y'all it's so freaking expensive. Then, like, I always pay my rent super early. I pay on, like, the 26, 27, just because we got Navy Federal. And CJ get paid early, so we just pay early. But you have a one-day grace period. One day. On the third day of the month, yo, rent is late. When I tell y'all on the fourth of the month, they have so many notes on people's doors and the note will be folded in half but at the top it'll say pay your rent or quit I'm trying to embarrass somebody no y'all ought to be the ones who's in fucking embarrassed i just pulled up at the lisa office so i'm gonna go in here and see why they haven't come fix my air yet because <laughs> so y'all i stopped by the maintenance or, or the leasing office i say i called y'all hours and hours and hours ago i haven't heard anything and i told y'all my air was broke what's going on that was like, oh, well, the maintenance man is busy addressing other um, emergency maintenance issues. Mind you, emergency maintenance issues are things like broken refrigerator, broken stove, broke or um, broken um, air. Those are emergencies. The people open at 9 o'clock. I called them at 9.03. You mean to tell me 1,000 other residents called y'all three minutes before me? nobody called y'all y'all don't have no damn emergency request he's just unprofessional he always say he's gonna come at a certain time he never comes go say he gonna call me by the end of the day i said okay just don't let him call just don't let him call because for somebody to pay, be paying over three thousand dollars a month for rent y'all should have multiple maintenance men first of all and everything should be answered promptly like nothing should be ever broken in that entire building because y'all have y'all make more than enough money every single month to have enough staff to fix stuff to have all the resource resources to fix stuff it's just no excuses then she gonna say well on the bright side it's a nice day perhaps you should open your windows girl if i wanted to sit in my house with my windows open i could have rented an apartment that doesn't have air in it 
I paid for the luxury of air, so I want to be able to use it. So don't tell me to open my goddamn windows. Like, I'm really upset about that. It's 12 o'clock. Let, let's see what the uh, weather looking like outside while she talking about it's a nice day. Because if it was such a nice day, the thermostat wouldn't say 82 degrees. Girl, it's 78 degrees outside. It's not a nice day. It's almost 80 degrees. Anyways, we're at the beauty supply store. Finna go in here, get a few things for some wigs, and then um, we're gonna head home. Try to put the boys down for a nap. It's so hot in our house right now that it's uncomfortable. So they probably they probably don't even want to go to sleep. Honestly, I don't even I don't even want to go to sleep, sleep in there. It's so hot. But this beauty supply store, ooh. this beauty supply store got like security that like walks up and down the aisles and it's like a big huge black man he is so scary i'm gonna try to record in there but i don't know baby he intimidates me last time i came here i was like what the fuck is this okay i just came out of this beauty supply store so i go in there i'm shopping around i'm on my aisle all of a sudden i smell boo boo i'm like did i fart or something so they got these big fans in there. They're both from the front of the stove to the back. And you go to the front of the stove, all you smell is boo-boo and Lysol. So, I'm like, what the f And then the cashier got a mask on. She got gloves on. I'm like, I know they ain't got the motherfucking stomach virus up in here. Something wrong. Babe, I'm finna go home, scrub down, take me an immune immunity booster. I need to start back wearing my mask, cause who got time? Somebody in that store is sick. One of their workers is sick because it smells like straight up crap in there. But I'm finna head home, try to put the kids down for a nap, and then I'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit later. All right, babe. So it's much later, y'all. It is 10:15 p.m. and I forgot I, I I forgot that I didn't give you guys a Target haul of everything I got earlier. So I'm just gonna show y'all what I got. If y'all hear some noise in the background, it's the washer. We also have the windows up because our air is broken and it's hot as hell in our house. So ignore the background noise. I got myself some razors. I saw the girlies talking about these five blade over the three the three blade. So I got this. I just got the two pack. I got I restocked on my La Rouge Pousset. This is how you know I really like a product. If I buy it twice, like this shit is expensive. So I bought it twice. I really like it. And I also have the restock on my snail mucinin and my all-in-one cream. I got the boys some gummy bears because Carter is obsessed with gummy bears. I got oh my god. I got a two a two pack of toothpaste because We've been out of toothpaste, like we've been running low for just too long. And then I had stopped by Ross and I got this continuous water mister for my hair, for like my deep wave wigs and stuff like that. And then I've been wanting to try the Panoxyl Acne Foaming Wash for a while because I don't, I'm sure y'all can tell, like I got little like acne breakouts right here. And it usually only happens like around the time whenever it's my time of month, but then they stay and they take forever to heal. So I saw people saying this was really good, but I didn't want to commit to buying like another full size face wash since I just spent $20 on this one. So I just got this one from the travel aisle. I think it was like $2. And then it says it's 10% benzoyl peroxide and it's maximum strength. So we're going to see what it's going to do for these little bumps. And my skin is really sensitive, so it might be too much for my skin. So I don't know. I'm just going to do a little test run and then see how it goes. And if I like it, I'll buy the big bottle. I got some of these little big disposable razors. Because I just like to use these for my armpits. Something cheap. And then the last thing I got, I got some cocoa butter cocoa butter why is cocoa butter nine dollars now i really don't understand like inflation is really inflating but that's what i got from target y'all i'm about to be ready to get in the shower so i will talk to you guys in a minute good morning babes it's the next morning you guys we're up super early waiting on these people to come fix our air so i'm just doing my hair in the meantime while we wait y'all look at this god dang on glues wig okay there's my cap look at the lace like let me pull it on right like the lace just disappears uh, all you can see is my cap you cannot see the lace you see my cap which is crazy i need to start doing the ball cap method because the lace on these weeds be so thin and just so like girl like it really be tea and it's crazy to me like girl what the hell i'm telling y'all push it get y'all some glue wigs 
Can get y'all some glue to please. So I uh I actually I'm finna send one of these glue wigs home to my grandma. Cause my grandma like wearing wigs, but she don't be knowing how to do all that glue and stuff. And these are just gonna be perfect for my grandma. Like these would be perfect for my grandma. Let me turn my light this way. Yeah, y'all see that? There go the cap. All you gotta do is pull that wig down. Like, look. You see the cap and here go the lace. Like you see the cap, but you don't see the lace. Like I need to fix my cap. I need to go get me some hairspray so I can do the ball cap method, but baby. This wig is tea. Let me show y'all who this by. This is by Oh My Pretty Hair. And I'm gonna put the link to this wig in the description, baby, because yeah, eight down. But I'm gonna finish doing my hair, wait for these people to come. Then we're gonna go to the bank and get our money for our budget binder. So I will see you guys momentarily. All right, y'all, we just came from checking the mail because I had a package down here. And y'all nephews always want to bring toys, so Carter brought his scooter. And they, ooh, Lord, I almost tripped. Kate, Carter, freeze, come back. So Carter and CJ, uh, I mean Kate and CJ all the way back there, y'all. Kate brought his little Target cart. And he just didn't give. He kept swooping it over. <laughs> Hey babes, so y'all, how about we went to check the mail, right? And like, as soon as I got off the camera with y'all, I saw one of my babes. She was like, oh my God, I follow you on TikTok. And it was such a full circle moment for me because not me having people know me, like, girl, girl. That was very much so a Beyonce moment, can't lie to you. But <laughs> we are back at home. CJ gave the kids a bath because I was feeling very overstimulated. It was a lot of screaming going on. I had cleaned up like a million times today and the house just kept getting raked and raked and raked and raked. And I just not was feel I wasn't feeling it. So CJ got them, gave them a bath, and now I'm making dinner. I'm making steak and homemade potatoes. And one of my babes asked, Ooh, Lord, I gotta this. She asked if I could show how I make my homemade potatoes. So I'm gonna show y'all. But first, let me go do my day in the life real quick and then I'll be back. Well, I made us some bread. All right, babes. So I told y'all that one of my babes was asking, like, how do I make my homemade mashed potatoes? And I'm honestly obsessed with my homemade mashed potatoes. So I done cooked my potatoes and I peeled them. Y'all can see they steaming like crazy. So first thing I do, I add some heavy whipping cream. I am really not a, like, mesmeric girly. I'm really, like, an eyeball with girly. So how much does that look like? Because I really don't know. I add a little bit of milk. And we use lactose free milk just because the boys also gotta eat this and they just don't do the whole lactose thing. And then I use, I swear, my secret ingredient, these little Hidden Valley Ranch packets. I would not lie to y'all, these can take uh, any dish from good to freaking amazing. Like, these are, girl, 10 out of 10. Next time I go to Sam's, I need to buy the big one. Let me grab my potato masher. Okay, we got our little potato masher. And I don't know if I said it or not, but add the whole ranch seasoning thing. And then just smash everything down. I saw some of the babies saying they use, um, you hungry? Yeah. Okay, I'll feed you in a minute, okay? We have some steak and potatoes. But they want kids. That's grandma's food. You want kid food? That's grown up food. What you want? Uh, chicken nuggets. You want some chicken nuggets? I'm finna make some chicken nuggets, okay? I'm finna put them in the air fryer. But I saw some of my base say they use sour cream. And now sometimes I use sour cream, but whether or not I use sour cream or not, I really don't taste a difference. And also today, I don't have no sour cream. So the sour cream I had, it um, it was like all watery, so I just threw it out. Like it wasn't expired or anything, but it was watery and I just, I wasn't feeling the vibes. <laughs> so, I can't lie, y'all. I'm a little bit wine drunk. I've been sipping this Taylor Port, and if you know, you know, this Taylor Port is some serious. It's 8.22. Kids bedtime between 8.30 and 9 o'clock. As y'all can tell, Carter just came in here talking about he hungry, so I'm gonna give him a little something to eat, and then they're gonna go to bed. <laughs> they're gonna go to bed. But I just finished mashing up my potatoes. That's how they look. You can load them, add bacon, cheddar, whatever you want to add, but just this right here be enough for me. It's really the ranch seasoning that's just set everything off. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and plate up our food. We finna eat and I'll be back. Fill it off. All right, y'all, we finna eat dinner. My husband had made these little caramelized onion over here. I don't know. I don't know why I'm choking. But we finna eat, put the kids to bed, then I'll be back to talk to y'all and get ready to close out this vlog. The way I forgot the end of vlog the other day. So I was just editing, getting ready to upload this vlog. And I realized I never came back to the camera to tell you guys, see you later. So besties, that is the end of today's video. Stay tuned for more vlogging, vlogging, vlogs. I'm trying to get out a vlog every other day, but life be life and baby. So yeah, besties, stay tuned for a full review and install video on this look. I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Bye, babes.